in this session we will discuss where and how we can declare instance variables last video session already we had to discuss what is an instance variable now we will learn where and how we can declare instance variable we can declare instance variable inside constructor by using self variable we can declare instance variable inside instance method by using self variable we can declare instance variable outside of the class by using object reference variable so first of all we will discuss declaring instance variable inside constructor by using self variable so now we discuss first way to declare instance variable inside constructor by using self variable so we can declare instance variable inside the constructor by using self variable so now watch here so here we create one file with name student so here we create one class with name student class and inside the student class we define one constructor so what how we can so how we can declare constructor so what is the name of the constructor in it so first parameter of the constructor is self now inside the constructor if you declare any variable by using self that variable is known as instance variable so what here here we take three variables self dot name equal to suppose we are assigning value scott and now take another variable self dot roll number equal to 101 and now we take another variable age equal to 20 so watch here inside the constructor by using self we are declaring and initializing three variables so this means name roll number and age is an instance variable if you declare variable as an instance variable for that variable memory will be allocated when object of a class is created it means this instance variable will be added to the object whenever object of a class is created now comes out of the class and here we create one object of the class so how we can create the object of a class s1 equal to student this means what happening when you create the object of a class when you create the object of a class constructor of the class will be invoked when constructor of the class will be invoked it means one memory will be allocated in that memory three attribute will be added so watch this diagram here one object is created where three attribute will be added name roll number age and name in slides with scott value roll number in slides with 101 and age value in slides with 20 and s1 is a reference variable which refer this object this object which type is student object so one student object is created which contains three attributes so now here we create another object s2 equal to new student so now watch here a new object is created a new memory is allocated and in this object also three attribute will be added name roll number and age and here a new memory allocated and this object is referred by s2 reference variable so s2 refer this object actually here name value also in slides with scott and roll number also in slides with 101 and age value also in slides with 20 because whenever object you create constructor of the class is executed in this time here we are writing this code so this code will be executed for each and every object of a class so first of all we can declare instance variable inside constructor by using self variable once we create object automatic this variable will be added to the object so now we will discuss declaring instance variable inside instance method by using self variable so we can also declare instance variable inside instance method by using self variable so you can declare also instance variable inside instance method by using self variable if any instance variable declared inside instance method that instance variable will be added once we call that method 
Watch here this diagram. Suppose here we have defined one class demo class. Inside this class, we define one constructor. And inside the constructor, we declare in, we declare and initialize two instance variables, A and B. A initialize with 10 and B initialize with 20. And here we define another method F1. Here we define one method with name F1. And inside this method, if a inside method, if you declare or inside any variable by using self, that variable also becomes instance variable. So self dot c, c is also instance variable. So in this demo class, there are three instance variable. Two instance variable are declared in inside inside the constructor, and one instance variable declared in inside within a method. So watch here. Now comes out the class. Now we create the object of a class. When you create the object of a class, remember this point, one memory will be allocated. And at the time of object creations, constructor of the class will be invoked. So here construct, demo class constructor will invoke. And when demo class constructor is invoked, this inside this constructor, we are declared two instance variables. So this instance variable will be added into the demo D1 object. So here one object is created, and in this object, two instance variable will be added whose value is 10, first instance variable value is 10 and second instance variable value is 20. So at the time of object creation, two instance variable will be added. So in this time, D1 object contain only two instance variable. So D1 object call the F1 method. So what happened? When F1 method will be invoked, inside this method, we are declaring one instance variable. So this instance variable will be added to the object. So after calling F1 method, one more instance variable will be added. So remember this point. After calling F1 method, one more instance variable will be added. So remember this point. If you declare any instance variable inside the method, that instance variable will be added to the object once we call the method. Now comes in program one. Now we define one class with the name demo. And inside this class, we are defining constructor. So how we can define constructor? By using init method. Inside the constructor, we are declared two instance variable, whose name is A, and second instance variable with name B equal to 20. So inside constructor, we are declared and initialized two instance variable. Now we define one method f1 and inside this method so here we declare one instance variable with name c and initialize with 30 value now come out of the class now we create the object of demo class so d1 equal to demo when you create the object of class at the time of creation of object two instance variable will be added to this object if you want to check the description of this class so how we can check we have one proper variable, dictionary variable, which is used to know the description of object. So now run this application and check the output. So watch here, how many instance variable will be added at that time? How many instance variable will be added at that time? In this time, D1 contain only two instance variable. Now, once you call the F1 method, so how we can call D1.F1? Now we try to know the description of D1 object. So now save this class and run again this class. So watch here, in this time, D1 object contains how many instance variable? In this time, D1 contains three instance variable. Then we will discuss declaring of instance variable outside the class when you are declaring instance variable outside the class then we can declare that variable by using object reference variable so now read this point we can also add instance variable outside of class to a particular object watch this diagram here we define one class with name demo inside the demo class we are defining one constructor 
and inside the constructor we are declaring two strings variable with name a and b and now we define one function inside the function we are declaring one strings variable with name c now we create the object of a class so at that time of object creation two strings variable will be added to this object so watch here one object is created and and this object two strings variable will be added now after calling f1 method one more strings variable will be added to this object so in this time this object contains three strings variable now if you want to declare strings variable outside the class you can also declare strings variable outside the class by using reference variable so here we are using reference variable name is a d1 so d1 dot d equal to 40 it means here we we are try to one more attribute will be added to the object so here one more attribute will be added to the object with name d after execution of this line this object contains four instance variable whose name is a a b c d so outside the class we can also declare instance variable by using object reference so now comes in program and watch here so watch here here we define one demo class inside the demo class we are we are defining constructor and inside the constructor we are declaring two strings variable and here we define one function inside the function we are declaring one strings variable now watch here after calling this method now we are added one more attribute to the object outside the class so d1 d equal to we are writing 40 so now we are calling the dictionary variable on d1 object dictionary underscore underscore dictionary underscore underscore now run this application and watch here so watch here at the time of object creation object having only two attribute once you call the f1 method after calling the f1 method one more attribute will be added to this object and after calling d1 dot d statement one more attribute will be added to this object so here now this object contains four attributes so remember this point we can declare instance variable inside constructor also if you declare a if you declare instance variable inside constructor so you can declare by using self variable we can also declare instance variable inside function by using self variable we can also declare instance variable outside the object but by using reference variable so i hope you will understand where we can declare instance variable of a class thank you